Hey hey! In this video we're making a simple sliding knot bracelet with seven knots spaced out around the bracelet and a single sliding knot for the sliding mechanism. For this design we're using 100 centimeters of 2mm satin nylon cord. First up we want to measure in about 15 centimeters from one end and then hold our left index finger parallel with the cord there on that 15 centimetre mark. Then with this longer end of cord in our right hand, we're going to bring that around our finger three full loops. Starting on the end of our finger and working towards the left for our three full loops around. Once you've made your three loops, you want to gently remove the loops off your finger. And with the end of this long cord, we bring that around and poke it down all three of the loops, pulling it out the right hand side. Then we can gently work this knot down so it's nice and tight and tidy. You're trying to keep it in about that same spot on the cord, then just pull it nice and tight. Now we just repeat the same process to make six more knots. We want to make sure our knots are all evenly spaced out with about an inch in between. So I space them out by having this first knot in that bend of my finger. Then we bring this long cord on the right around our finger three full loops, working towards the left. Now with your three loops, you can gently remove them off your finger and bring this long cord around to the left hand side. So you can poke it down all three of your loops, pulling it out the right hand side. Now we can gently work with our knot to bring it down onto that one inch mark. Gently pulling and pushing your cords and the knot to work it down so that it sits on that one inch mark when it's pulled nice and tight. Now we're just going to work along our thread until we have seven knots in total and they all sit one inch apart. Just repeating the same process for each knot, wrapping your thread around three times, gently removing it off your finger and poking your thread down all three loops from the left hand side. Working your knot down really gently and slowly so that it sits on that one inch mark. Once you've got your seven evenly spaced out knots, we're going to tie our sliding knot. So swapping the long side onto the left hand side and overlapping our cords at the top here. Now we've got this longer cord from the left coming on top of the other cord. And we want this next knot to be spaced quite evenly with all the other knots. So I'm just holding it with the threads crossed over about one inch along from each knot. Now I readjust my left hand so that my left index finger runs parallel with that cord underneath. And we've got our longer cord at the top here. So we're going to bring this down the back and through the hole to create a little loop around our finger there. So we're making three loops here. So we're going to bring it around again, down the back and through the hole to create a second loop and then again for a third loop as well. Down the back and through the hole. Once you've got your three loops there, we're just going to gently remove them off our finger and poke this little tail down all three of the loops, pulling it out the right hand side and then gently working this knot down so that it's a nice, tight, tidy barrel knot. Now hopefully you've managed to get your knot down nice and even with all the other knots. If you're not happy with it, you can undo it and just redo it until you're happy with it. Once you're happy with it, you can just leave a little bit of space here on these ends and then tie a little overhand knot just so your threads don't disappear inside your sliding knot. So I like to make sure they're nice and even on each side, matching those knots up. Then I cut the ends off and singe them with a lighter so they don't fray. 
So there's your simple seven knot sliding knot bracelet.